Ratchet and Clank ripped apart walkthrough. We are nearing the end of the game now. Um, yeah, we only got three videos left. So we're also reaching the part where things are a little bit more serious. Ratchet and Clank are captured and there's a bunch of other people in prison and it's up to us right now to free them. So we're on this planet that I forgot the name of. <laughs> I probably saw it in another game too because this game really seems like it wanted to reuse a lot of the worlds from the previous games. And where you're pretty much going to be as powered up as we can get. Uh, unless you really want to go back and try to collect as many of the upgrades as you can. By the time you get here, you'll probably still be pretty strong. I think most of your weapons should be pretty high upgraded. Uh, this one, the... I forgot what that thing is called. <laughs> Dang it, the fancy rocket launcher. That one, even just after a few level ups and a few rare titanium upgrades, that thing is super strong. So I love that one. And then there's a super easy gold bolt to grab right here. I don't know what number that was. I think that might have been like 23 or was that the last one? I, yeah, 22. Okay. So I'm kind of getting near the end of them. And I think as I've mentioned before, the unlocks from the gold bolts are dependent on the number of bolts that you have, not which one that you're collecting. So uh, if you want like unlimited ammo, I think you need at least, uh, at least... 15 at most like 20 gold bolts to get then it doesn't matter what order you get them in just as long as you get 20 of them and you actually unlock the unlimited health and the unlimited ammo cheats i'm gonna call them way before you unlock anything else uh that the gold bolts give you and those are probably arguably the most useful but other than that the only thing the gold bolts do is change how some of your items look and i didn't really um do that very much i just i wanted to keep things kind of default i guess so I failed there to jump on over to uh, the other side where that terminal was. I don't think I had to do that, but uh, whatever, that's okay. So there's going to be a few more enemies on this platform that we called over. And then we're going to activate that terminal. Once it lets us, sometimes all these brand new games that have you walk into a pretty precise location just so you can activate the button. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to come up, but that's okay. We got that going, and then we're going to get onto this... Uh, big fancy, oh that's just a regular old, um, jungle vine, vine swing, swing point, something like that. That's just a regular old <laughs> swing point. I thought it'd be the one that makes you spin really fast. But anyway, uh, we're going to swing on over to the bottom side here. And this level, again, was one of them that really felt a lot more like a Ratchet and Clank game to me. Just felt like they really wanted to make this one uh, more traditional like the other games, I guess. A lot of the levels in this game did feel very Ratchet and Clank, but some of them, like the open world one, and I'd say even Sargasso, didn't really feel too Ratchet and Clank. They felt way more modern, which is okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying to update the way your game works as long as it's done well, but I think you really have to be careful that you don't mess it up because it's really easy to try something new and have it be bad than it is to just stick with the old thing and be consistent, but some might argue a little bit boring. But hey, we're getting to the point with gaming these days, I think I've, I've already talked about this, but whatever. We're getting to the <laughs> to the point with gaming where kids uh, playing this game probably weren't even born when the first Ratchet and Clank came out. So it may not even matter at all. And there's probably not many people my age still playing Ratchet and Clank <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong though. This is a fun game and I was really glad to play it. Okay, so we're going to jump on over to these... Uh, uh, wind ducts, air conditioning ducts, and try to go through the fans so we can break them or dash through them. Be sure to take a look left and right when you're down here, just so you don't miss any fancy rare titanium. And by now you should have that map device that reveals all the locations of all the collectibles on the maps. So as you go along this level, you can open up your map and just mark all those locations. And you should be able to pretty easily find any of the collectibles left and 100% the world as you play through it. So it's kind of up to you on your motivation. There's not really much reason to if you're playing on the easier difficulties. There's an info bot in here that we'll want to grab. These are always useful because they give you... Or that's a spy bot, I guess. But anyway, once you get all 10 of them, you'll get the Rhino. And that weapon is unfortunately not well used because the game ends before you can really get it leveled up. But I'll talk about that later. Here we're in the prison where Clank also is, and there's a lot of other guys and robots, and I think some morts we saw, I think, in the prison. 
And we can talk to some of them if we want to. We're just gonna slowly head on over here and try to kill that robot. Really nothing too special, just a couple of weaklings. And then we're gonna get free, or we're gonna get uh, Clank back. So I guess I meant that Ratchet and Kit were the ones in jail, although so was Clank. But either way, we got Clank back, and now Ratchet and Kit are the ones that are still together, so we have to go rescue them once that door blows open and we kill those enemies. Really not too difficult to kill them, we'll just take them out. And this guy caught me off guard. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna shoot me through the window and break the window there. I thought he was just gonna kind of look at me and yell at me like someone who is unhappy that I don't have the right passports but uh, no he blew right through that window and hit me with this stupid laser still my least favorite enemy attack in this entire game by far even more so than any other bosses and we're gonna have a couple of these sniper bots sitting around here so you know they haven't changed at all just wait for their laser to get thicker and then move out of the way and we're gonna use the warmonger to Try to blow them up in like two hits, they are pretty weak to the warmonger, and by now I'm pretty sure I have the thing upgraded to where the uh, bullets, uh, the rockets, home in on the target, so it's really just an extremely strong weapon, and it's probably one that can carry you until the end of the game at this point, but it is still limited by only 10 ammo, and that's also what the negation collider is useful for. I think I got this one pretty well upgraded by now too. I mostly cut out the upgrade menu scenes just because that's kind of boring to watch. And I don't know, the way this game is set up is no reason to say this is the best weapon setup. I'm sure there is a best weapon setup, but I think you're gonna have way more fun if you just upgrade the weapons that you want and play with the weapons that you really like because the every weapon in this game is really good. So there's no real reason to tell you which is the best way to do what uh, for that aspect. Uh, there's also that golden bolt that I grabbed, super easy to get. It felt like they got really lazy with some of the collectibles near the end here. Uh, there really was nothing creative <laughs> about finding a lot of these. That's like two gold bolts that are extremely difficult to miss already. And then I died here in this room, so there is still some challenge to be had. But I think that was more a deal of just like the door opened up and I immediately got swarmed by these enemies and when you die and respawn like what happened to me, the enemies don't open up in the door right away, they kind of wait for you. So we're going to run on over here to the left side and these are the enemies that were kind of getting me killed and we'll want to kill the ones on the far side of this arena first and if we can get rid of these guys the rest of them are pretty easy. And I was just in the bad luck stun lock cycle with that guy that was shooting me that I just defeated. He was shooting me from on the other side of the arena. And then these melee enemies were coming up and whacking me. And every time I got up, I got hit by something else. And it just ended up not being very useful. <laughs> you know, I only have 80 health, so you'll probably hit 100 health before the end of the game. As I've said before, at this point, the enemies are just going to give you way more experience than... They, you're probably used to and if you pay attention to my experience bar on a weapon that is not level 5 You'll probably see it jump a couple of in-game inches a couple like I don't know a, a bunch of pixels You'll actually see the experience bar move Compared to earlier in the game where it like hardly moves at all once it hits level 2 or 3 So it's kind of nice if you have any weapons that you really just want to level up It's a pretty good time to start using them here and also, uh, we're getting lots of extra rare titanium, so that's pretty good to help try to fin finish off some of the upgrades of the other weapons that we're using. I don't think it's possible to fully upgrade weapons um, just by getting rare titanium that you've collected on the ground. I think maybe if you did some other repeatable stuff, then you would be able to get enough rare titanium to upgrade all your weapons, but that would take a really long time. I think you'll just be way better off beating the game and upgrading as you go, maybe collecting most of the rare titanium, but then doing New Game Plus. And the whole game repeats itself, of course, you get to keep all your weapons and upgrades, of course, and then you'll have all the rare titanium you need. 
So this is the transfer manager. He's just another juggernaut. I really wish there was a teensy bit more variety with the bosses, but what can you do? And we're just going to demolish this guy exactly the same way that we've demolished him a hundred times before now. And I think most of my way is just going to be with the topiary sprinkler and then whatever other weapons that I have with me. I really like the glove of doom, but I'm also using this. I'm trying to use the Cairo blaster a little bit more. Uh, that weapon is super good and I really did not give it enough use, but that's all right. And then I'm kind of running out of some ammo here. So we're going to finish him off with the negation collider. Get more rare titanium from that guy. And then more sitting on the crate over here. Then we're going to head on up and try to rescue Ratchet. Well, nothing's ever super easy, so it's not going to be uh, easy. Man, i got to find a different word. <laughs> okay, either way, uh, we found Ratchet, and we rode his prison cell into the other part of this jail. And we're going to get some of the boxes, get some extra bolts around here. I have 57,000 bolts now. So if there's any weapon that you can't buy, by this point in the game, you should have enough to buy it. And I think I may have done all of the Zircon... Um, whatever they're called, <clears throat> all those Zircon challenges by now. I think I might have finished off all the gold cups and the silver and the bronze cups, so that's probably where a lot of those bolts came from. Or I just got them from regular enemies and I get even more bolts later on. I guess we'll find out if I see if we see a big jump, but I, I don't show the whole uh, Zircon cup just because it's, it's more like a 100% walkthrough type of deal, and it's... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should have shown it, but I just was really getting lazy with my editing with this game and trying to deal with some of the video formats that I had to convert this series, this walkthrough into so I could edit it. And it's just frustrating me trying to edit this stupid thing. So I'm kind of getting ooh, a little tired of editing this game. So we have the videos all ready to go for the game to be finished. And I think I'm just going <laughs> to, we're going to beat it. We're going to get the credits to roll and we're going to cut it there. Uh, but anyway, what I'm getting at is that the uh, Zircon Cups are really good for some bolts too. And you don't need that many bolts really to buy all the weapons in the game. And, um, and especially when you start doing New Game Plus, you're just going to start getting unbelievable amounts of bolts. Like every enemy just drops holy mother loads of them. And that's always been something that's sort of a trait of the Ratchet and Clank games, which does make the New Game Plus pretty fun. But my issue with New Game Plus in general is just that, like, I've already beat the game. I don't really want to do it again so soon, you know. Wasn't sure you'd actually make it. Don't thank us yet. We need to power down these cells. Which means a visit to the warden's office. Did you hear about the disturbance in processing? I was and now the final fight, sort of, uh, before we free Ratchet here, we need to shut down the reactor. There's going to be a couple more alien uh, robots on the other side, and we just need to take care of them where they can't hit us. I think those guys can jump over, but Mr. Fun Guy is really good at taunting enemies to attack him instead. And there's also going to be a lot more people in jail here, so we can go around and kind of check on them if we want to. We'll notice there's a gold bolt inside one of these cages and a couple of other collectibles. And we're not going to be able to get them just yet. We are going to be disabling the prison cells, and then we'll come back here, and we'll be able to collect them then. Oh, hey there, Ribbit. Don't you worry about us. We've got a plan to get us out of here. What? How did you... Oh, got caught out a couple days ago. That's what we get for breaking curfew, eh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I should have just lied and said a song was my respect to the art.
just have to use these platforms to get closer and go from there. Be careful. That is a long way down. <laughs> I should have realized how impacted you were by what happened with Kit. Do you think you could ever forgive her? Perhaps you should. I don't know, but that won't stop me from saving her. Through that open access hatch. Almost 